guys knees here and yes the moment is coming soon and that is the playstation 5 game reveals so what games are they going to show for the playstation 5 first party third party second party whatever party so yeah so within minutes i'm gonna react to the playstation 5 reveals and this will be two video version let's just go with that one and that is on the main channel it will be a shortened version just the best part on my reaction and then on my standard channel which is my third channel it will be the whole entire video of my reaction to it and we'll see what happens so with that i'm gonna get ready and can't wait for what we're building gonna show for the playstation 5 ops still sony are you still doing that content policy rule still? <sighs> Whatever. Just have to wait and see what happens. Alright, it's starting. So they're showing actually the face button, the triangle, square, X, and circle there, so yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's see what games are going to show. Uh, hopefully it is gameplay, so yeah. It, yeah. Alright. Oops. Get okay, with it. There you go. Let's go! Let's do this! Let's do it! There you go! Ninety four, two thousand and six was the PS three, twenty thirteen was the PS four. So PS four games. There you go. A lot of PS four games. I guess they're doing a season reel, that's what they call that. <sighs> Let me just put up the volume. Alright. I got a sound bar, that's why. That might be too loud. There you go. PS4. I also have my phone there, just in case something interesting. Rockstar! Grand Theft Auto 5 I played the game Grand Theft Auto 5, it was actually fun I went for the PS3, I know there was a PS4 version that you can actually transfer the data Which is good, but I mean like yeah, Should I really buy the game again? Just saying there, so Did I just see the DeLorean? I'm assuming that's the online version. They had some pop culture uh, reference. That's one. And yes, if you're noticing, I'm not wearing a headphone. Like I said, I'm using a soundbar instead. They just I'm using my console to watch the presentation. Expand it and enhance it. I guess it's a sort of a hint of a backwards compatibility? That'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. BS5 owner will get GTA Online free at last in 2021. PlayStation 4. Starting today, PS4 owner gets 1 million cash every month till GTA 5 PS5 launching. Oh. Okay, so it's either a PlayStation 5 version or. Smart delivery again. I don't know.
But if it's just a PS5 version of Grand Theft Auto 5, I mean, come on. But if it's like you're able to play Grand Theft Auto Online on the PS5, then it makes more sense. Uh, yeah, Jim Ryan. Remember, the presentation's like one hour or more, who knows? All footage you are about to see at from point forward is shown PS5 system. Like since your studios doing first part of that, that's uh, the new one. Like you know, like Nintendo R and D or something like that. But apparently they're saying the R PS5 game uh, gameplay. You better show gameplay. Spider-Man 2! The, ru the, the, the rumors are true! PS5! Spider-Man 2 makes sense! I mean, I just, I just played new Spider-Man. It was fun. So, oh man. Spider-Man 2 said so the rumors were true. Spider-Man, Miles Morales, be graver. Be yourself. Oh. Oh. oh, shoot. Ah, Grand uh, not Grand Theft Auto, but uh, Gran Turismo guy. I don't really play Gran Turismo game. I, I'm like a Mario Kart type of guy. Uh, Spider-Man 2? Uh, okay. It's a launch title. Surprise. And this time you get to play as uh, Miles Morales, that's awesome. PlayStation Studio. <laughs> so a new Gran Turismo game. I mean they're fun if you like those simulation type racing. I have some of them but I couldn't really get into it, it's just not for me. First, I kind of remember people were asking for car damage, but really, but whatever. The only racing game beside Mario Kart that I miss is uh, Ridge Racer. I like Ridge Racer, but I have to do that one. I mean, they had that Unbound one, but that was that was horrible. That game was horrible in my opinion. It wasn't even developed by Namco. But yeah, I mean Mario Kart 8. But, I like that one, Lux, I mean, the one for the Switch also. Gran Turismo 7. Oh, this is still Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo 7, they're actually showing 
gameplay. I mean, in the case with Spider-Man 2, it is gameplay, but again, kind of feel like it's a gameplay trailer. Ratchet and Clank! Wow, it's a lot of the rumors! It's starting to be true! Gran Turismo 7, Spider-Man 2, a new Ratchet and Clank game? Oh my gosh! That's 3 and 3! Oh man! So apparently he's going dimension to dimension. I, I, I thought I saw like a Jack and Daxter robot, but maybe I'm mistaken. Okay, I don't know if it's gameplay, but they did say it's gameplay. So you better not be lying like Chill Zone 2 situation. Reference to a lot of Ratchet and Clank games. Is that in the fear? Wow, a new character! I thought it would be like Ratchet teams up with Jack, but I guess not. I'm assuming this is a sequel to the latest Ratchet game, I think, uh, from the PS3 one. Like, you gotta make a note that the one on the PS4 was just uh, based on the first game we told that's based on the movie, which is weird. Well, sense. That's crazy. Two Insomniac games. Spider Man 2 and Ratchet and Clank. Riff Apart. That's. Oh, gameplay! 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 I always enjoy this series. Oh wow! What the? Oh wow! They know them. Sash. So it's just gonna be like multi-dimension this time. I mean, Ratchet and Clank has always been like they go to planet to planet, but. I guess this one is now it's like just multi dimension. There it is. And.
well, man, it's been a while when I played a wrestling match. I mean, granted, I did play the one on the PS4. And apparently, that grappling hook is like a dimensional grappling hook. Man, I'm so confused. <laughs> Unless they learn from the Xbox One. Game play. I've turned on PS5. Oops, Grainix. Luminous Production. Isn't that like someone's new company based on that engine, the Luminous engine? Project Atia. Well, this dragon. Designed exclusively for PlayStation 5. Straight. So you play as a cat in a robot world? 2021. I mean, remember. I mean, they kind of have a chance that the PS5 will be somewhere holiday 2020, which is kind of makes sense. And most new titles are going to be in 2021. Yeah, it just it makes sense. That's the right time you release a console. I know Switch wasn't, but it is what it is. So, there you go, the PS5 logo. 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray. So, 4K is the default to some extent. Ultra High Speed SSD. Ray tracing. I mean, they've been mentioned that before. The Dual Sense 5. Hap haptic feedback. I forget what it is, I didn't explain that. Adaptive trigger. Analog. 
USB Type-C motion sensor, built-in microphone integrated headset jack, 3D audio, Um, Herman Holtz. It used to be like the President of Gorilla Gaming, you know, the kill zone. Yeah, he got he got promoted from what I heard. New IP. You just mentioned a new IP, I think, from Sony. I mean, you have to at least have one new IP. I mean, the PS4 was crank or knack. Crank? Knack. I just saw Ratchet and Clank, that's why. But knack. Knack is the new. It's a new developer, but exclusive to Sony for IP. Sony IP robot. Face button. Yeah. Uh. Oh, PlayStation Studios. Sumo Digital. The people who did that the Sega tennis game in the racing game. Did I just see Tony the Tiger? Sackboy, the big adventure. Yeah, for people who don't know what it is, Little Big Planet was a PS3 game. So it was the third game I have to still play it on the PS4. And the whole point about the game is you kind of design your own platformer. Technically, it's the OG Mario Maker before Mario Maker. The concept was first started in in. Um, Little Big Planet or the Sackboy. It's just that because most people who grew up in Nintendo can understand about Mario Maker, that's why. But when it came to like developing platformer, to some extent it was Sony and Little Big Planet versus the uh, first one that started it. I mean that's just the facts.
Uh oh. Can show a sign that it's getting old. So it's a derby racing game. But at the same time there's people running around. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it. Really? So there, there are people running around him, but there's also a car. I don't want to get an idea of, you know, uh, but... I mean, they're showing gameplay, but again, it's sort of a gameplay trailer here, because... You're not getting a lot of information of what the game is all about, but I guess... You're not supposed to, because, I mean, I assume it's probably going to be 2021. I mean, it just makes sense, so. It's just destruction also. I don't know. Oh, man. They really love to show that face button. <laughs> right. So it's the first indie title for the PS5. Wow, that that's cute. I mean, I have to say at least that they are showing gameplay. This actually looks like an actual gameplay. I mean, the the one before Destruction also, it's like, it is gameplay, but it's like, that's gameplay? I don't know. Like, this was actually giving information. You got your lady, a heroine, you have those little critters, and you use that staff to whack people. I think at one point, it turns into a bow, so... Kina Bridge of Spirits. Looks interesting. I gotta admit, they are showing some a lot of original IP, so that's one of the good things about when you have a new console is at least have new IP. Nintendo for a while, I mean, especially on the Wii U, they didn't have new IP, it, it was lacking. Hmm. <laughs> 
animals. Wait, are the animals or insects? Oh no, they look like lizards, dragon thing, weird, whatever. The, the funny thing is that just recently on Netflix we did watch uh, E Stars, so that's why. Goodbye, Volcano High. Wow. It's an end of. Oh! The reason why they look like lizards because they're dinosaurs. And some of them have wings, but you know what? Whatever. I have no idea. For the odd world, and the best, the uh, best thing he did, I think, was Stranger Rat. Was originally exclusive for the Xbox. Man. I'll see what the new game is. Put so high the sound bar, it's like vibrating. <laughs> oh, it is an odd world game again. It's been a while. And if I remember, the very first one was a PlayStation exclusive at one point, or a PlayStation IP, but then it became multi-platform in the long run. I have no idea what the story is. I mean, there was even a rumor a long time ago with PlayStation also in the first one. The very first... What am I saying? The rumor. PlayStation All-Star, they had, like, a rumor that... One of the guys from Odd, like Odd World, was going to be playable. Munchkin, one of his name is. Yeah, I, I just the I was thinking about also the rumor. It's like a rumor about the PlayStation All Star Two. But surprisingly, it's been a while when an Odd, Odd World Odyssey um, game was released. Odd World Soulstorm. Oh, Shigi Mikami, Tango Gameworks. The creator of Resident Evil and his best work is Resident Evil 4. Oh, Ghost War Tokyo game. Oh, yeah, it's latest game. It was at E3 2019 at the test. Uh, but then, of course, after that, it went in Kagiro. No one knows what's going on. But apparently, it's going to be the next gen. Or, yeah, next gen. PS5, X Series, you name it. It's probably going to have that weird Resident Evil vibe. Evil Within, that was just one of his best work I heard. Yeah, uh, was an evil vibe type game. I mean, it's not Resident Evil 8, but are they going to show it? No, we just have to wait. Oh, oh no. I hope it's not first person.
I, I hope you're not pulling a Resident Evil 7. I mean, I was waiting to buy it, but the problem is that the first person is saying it's not for me. The game is in first person, uh, that's gonna be a little tricky. I mean, yeah, Podesta, so maybe he can get like the big effing gun from Doom. Or the Fallout armor. by dreams. Year zero. What's a year zero? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two, one. So far they're showing a lot of new stuff, new IP, which again, like I said, it's good. But I, I do want to see a lot of the rumor, like a new fighting game, a new whatever Japanese web, hold on, what is this? Oh, Gearbox. Oh, it looks like a hack and slash game. I'm thinking about a game called Vanquish. But, oh, that game that they showed in. Game of War 2019, uh, Oddfall.
I'm gonna like an indie title one. At least they're showing gameplay again. Solar Ash. Well, sort of. I guess I take that back. I was right! Hitman 3! That was Agent 47, right? I saw some bald guy. Not really a fan of those, I tried playing them. What would the publisher is? I mean, there was a history I heard, I could be wrong. Uh, are you interactive? Left uh, Square Enix because Square Enix couldn't um, afford them. But Hitman 3, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm surprised. Uh, wait, they just mentioned something like. Oh. No, it's like gameplay trailer. Important health and safety warning setting. Press the PS button on your controller. Okay, back again. Astro Bot! It's not VR anymore. <laughs> For people don't know what Astro Bot or whatever Astro Bot 
it was like free game on the PS4. If you have a camera, you can do the playroom, and then there's a VR game about that robot. Again, with the face buttons. Awesome. I say it looks artistic. Wow, that was a big crap. So, there's a guy that you do a hack slash. And you got an old guy. I gotta admit, I like the art style. Oh, there's the old guy. Still devil in sight? Face button! Man, they gotta love those shapes and face button. Whatever. Is this gonna be more gambling and microtransaction? Oh, well. There's a PS4 version and a PS5 version. And yes, face buttons. Oh, so 
the bugs or animals are living food and then you eat them and then turn into them. This, this is just that's unique. I mean, I heard Octo Dad was actually a good game, so. Okay. Bug Snack. Almost close to one hour. Oh, face button. Had to be a different developer initiative. Legend of Dragoon. Legend of Dragoon! People keep talking about that. People want a remake. And Shuhei did something with Legend of Dragoon that was involved. Let's see if it is. Demon Soul rumor. I mean, I'm not knowledgeable of the history of Demon Soul. I know it has something to do with Sony. With I know Atlas reads the publisher because they thought it was not good. The Dark Soul type game. Shuhei did have some part to it. So. Oh, so it is true. It is Demon Soul. <laughs> Alright, I thought it was Legend of Dragoon. Ah, that was a rumor. It's either a remastered. Oh, it is a remastered. All right. So the rumor was true about the Demon Soul game. So. Could have ended with Demon Souls because people do want that. And yes, it is a Nintendo IP or not Nintendo, excuse me, Sony IP. But yeah, I don't know the whole history about Demon Souls. I mean, shouldn't we? Well, we'll see. Person again.
start. <laughs> oh, but that's not so. Alright. Gonna make sense. But that's a do open time or Fallout. I tried playing a Fallout game, but it didn't work. face button. Castle, weird, European, I don't get it, no, maybe not. I just, oh shoot it is, I think it is. I just saw the umbrella logo. Oh, 
and the, another, the room number two. Is it evil? Hey, the village. Thanks, button. So the rumors were true for Resident Evil 8. Chris is a bad guy, Ethan is a good guy, and what is this? And 2021, I mean, that's gonna be interesting. I mean, I'm not gonna play it. No idea what this is. But this is weird. It's original, but it's weird. Oh wow! Capcom! It's from Capcom! 2022! What is that? Face button! Put them in the face button. Is it? No, oh, it's the logo. Is that almost? Is that the end? Nope, there's one more. It's only your active entertainment. Another rumor that was true. I think. Maybe I'm jumping the gun here, but. They were true. Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Wow. This is crazy. to finish the first one. Uh, it's a good game, but just um, open world. Uh, 
Wow, I guess this time we can go underwater. That's crazy. That was San Francisco, I think. Horizon to Forbidden West. So he go, she goes to the west, I guess, I kind of saw a San Francisco bridge, the Golden Gate Bridge. Gorilla. I mean, they're the people who did kill zone, so I mean, the game is good, even Sakurai even enjoyed playing the game. So there's more. I mean, they did say that there's gonna be more. It's just not the one off thing. Watching that PlayStation 5 is good, so we'll see. And jellyfish or ray tracing balls. They had something balls in a demonstration in the past, I just don't know what they did. But they did talk about balls. I just can't remember. PlayStation 5! That looks so weird. I mean, they did say they found a solution for the cooling, because that's one of the problems with the previous one, but... Why is it so... futuristic? Different. Can I put it on my put it sideways or I have to put it like on like tower mode? Nah, it looks like it's gonna be only tower mode. I mean nah, I don't think it's bad, but just
Maybe they'll give more options. Or is she still showing the console? Ugh, nope. DualSense wireless controller, <laughs> DualSense charging station, HD camera, headset, media remote control, yeah. Really? So you're gonna have a digital version? I guess it's probably a lower end. Kinda makes sense. I mean, I don't know why you're gonna need a digital version, That's, uh, but I guess for people who don't really care about physical disc, I, I mean, it's gonna make sense, but... <laughs> and if it's lower than the physical version or whatever with the disc, then I can understand. I mean, you, you pull out a lot of parts, that's really the reason why I wanted to explain in the past why it's so expensive because of moving parts, that's why the Wii U to the Switch, they had to change it to a disc base to a game card and then in the case with uh, PS3 they had to remove a lot of the backwards compatible feature because it was costing them a lot of money so I'm, that, they didn't mention it here but it kind of sort of sort of by hand I know they did say PS4 backwards compatible hopefully also physical version that would be nice right you know the first 2000 but does it play PS3 PS2 PS1 Right now, they're not saying much, and according to Jim Ryan, they're not even saying much about it, so... Uh, <laughs> ah, I don't know. I... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> oh. There you go. They just showed it. Uh, well, maybe not, so... I thought they showed it, you could put it sideways, but no, it's just probably just doing some weird CISO camera special effects for the PS5. They always have to end it with a season as well. I gotta admit, they did end it with a good announcement. The console in Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Play has no limit, so that's their new logo. Face button. Ah, I guess that was it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that is the PlayStation 5 gameplay presentation reveal. I have to say I had to give it a good 8 out of 10. Only reason why 2 points down is that there are some games that I would like them to show that were rumored, but hey, you know, whatever. So some of the leaks were true. 1. Spider-Man 2, if you reveal how day of 2020. Ratchet and Clank, the Rift Apart, apparently that was another rumor there. Grand Turismo 7 and Horizon Zero Dawn 2 and of course Dark Souls. Though it was from the league, they said that it's gonna be in the PS5 and there it is. And then Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil 8, yes, so the premise, the story is true. So Ethan's gonna be the new main character main character once again, Sin 7. Chris Redfield somehow's a bad guy, and apparently his story comes to an end after all those chapters to some extent. Yeah, 
basketball again. I mean, back to compatibility. Yeah, I mean, it's been announced by then, of course, the Grand Theft Auto 5. I don't know, is it back to compatible or is it a PS5 version? They didn't mention about smart delivery or anything. So, the, the whole point of this presentation is the show game. That's what it is. They're not going to talk about the tag in the price. They did finally show the PlayStation 5 console. Makes sense because they did it with the PS4 on the conference. I don't know if it can be sideways, but it looks like it's going to be just in tower mode because the shape it's just weird. And then they're going to have two versions: a Blu-ray HD 4K version and a digital version. So my guess, the reason they did that is for someone who don't really care about physical media, they just want digital. There you go, you can cut costs, probably it's going to be $50 off. Then the other version, and of course you can use your storage for, you know, external storage for the PS4, play PS4 games on that one, and of course probably with PS5. They also show the USB 3.0 and a Type-C headset, remote control, again, the basic is there. They did not mention about the tech or the feature that probably they said will be Somewhere down the line before Holiday 2020, which is what they are aiming, a lot of the games they said, 2020 there, so, yeah, I mean, so far I have to give it an 8 out of 10, like I said, the rumor of the Konami game, parts mentioned, they did show something from Capcom, there was one there, or besides Resident Evil, there was another one, Pragmata, I think they called that one, Rose War Trip Tokyo, again, another one that's an interesting one there, so, in it. I mean, yeah, some of the rumors were true. Like the first party games so far, they're true. And the best part is they did show some new IP. So there are some new original IP. I don't know if some of them are from Sony Studio or PlayStation Studio, which is their new like development theme for PlayStation, you know, like Nintendo RD or Microsoft Studio, you know, something like that. But yeah, I mean I have to admit, it wasn't that bad. And yeah, so those are my reaction. So, like I said, there will be two versions. The best one is going to be on my main channel, and then the entire one hour is on my extended channel. Plus, I will give my in depth thoughts of the thing that I got interested on in the presentation, some of the first party games, and what do I want to see in the future. And still, the concern about the content policy rule, but it's, it's, you know, it is what it is there. So, yeah, so with that, I'll see you guys later.